Today we are going to look at DJI FPV remote controller and how easily you can access your aircraft drone and perform all manual actions on it. So what we are going to do now is connect this FPV remote controller with your computer and in the computer you need to have your simulator app and you can start with your virtual training and that virtual training will give you more confidence on flying your aircraft on the real world so let's start with that okay now both are connected so let's get into the mac system so here you have a steam app so the steam app is nothing but to uh, run your virtual simulators there um, so this steam app is you can download and install through the app store so go to app store get the steam and install it and once you install you just create your profile there it's free and you can just log in there so click on steam and you will get your profile there created and under the profile you can just download what all the apps you want and you can play around so if i go to my library you can see there is a call fpv skydive that's what i'm using it it's completely free you don't have to pay for anything uh, but if you wanted to go for a paid version there is a one thing called liftoff and that is uh, around like twenty dollars you need to pay for it and you can get that app uh, or otherwise you can go for the free version so currently now i'm going to explain it with the free version which is fpv skydive so here once you get in there click on play this i already installed it otherwise you need to install so once you install there you will get this uh, app so click on play and that will take you to the play zone so your FPV skydive and then press any key to continue you'll get a fly regular so go for a fly regular and then you can select the drone whatever you want so with this free version you have two this one the red and blue so I'm just going with the blue one click on fly regular you can see raising challenge freestyle and multiplayer so I'll go with a freestyle for explanation because that's easy to explain all the different steps so click on freestyle and these are the four places where you can uh, play around so I'm just gonna pick up the construction arena that's my favorite and that's easy to explain all the features so now we are in the construction arena one important thing is keep try to practice in acro mode because the acro mode is the one which mostly all the drones will work there is a uh, different other uh, mode you can run on your remote controller like a horizon or vertical and some so many other things are there but the acro is the one which fit for most of the drones so train yourself always on the acro mode and that will help you on your real world okay let's start now so put all your throttle to zero and now we are going to start And just throttle up it goes up and just push this down yet it's completely throttle zero so just up and down use the throttle forward and then it, when it goes down it just goes down so that's the simple throttle up and down so if you put it to the full high you're giving a full power and it just goes up I'm just bringing it down so that's pretty much on a throttle and now on your right side you have pitch so when you when I do this on that hop you can see the camera angle goes down and when I do that on the down it just goes up so that's the pitch which will move your aircraft down and up the angle will change based on that so let's see how this pitch will work with your uh, drone. So I give throttle. Just go away from here. It's easy to explain. So now let me put it down here. Okay. So now I just lift. And now when I give the pitch down, it just coming down with the same throttle. And when I push it down up, it just go up. So up and pitch down. 
I'm just pitching down and just go down like this and when I pitch up it just go higher and when I pitch down it just go down and I just go higher and this is down and this is higher so based on the angle your throttle will work together with a combination of both your throttle and your pitch which will more make your aircraft to move up and down and with the forward and backward so I'm just giving a full throttle now and just giving a full down it just goes down and then if I wanted to go higher like just go this way and that will bring to the top of your face wherever you want and from here I wanted to go down just completely shut down the throttle and put the pitch down and that will bring your aircraft down so I'm just going to throttle up and that will bring completely to the top and then again shut down the throttle and pitch down and that will come down the throttle down and pitch up that brings down now we are going to look at the roll and the yaw roll is nothing but angle wise it moves to the right and left like this is angle right angle left so you move this way and this way and that's the way you will make flips like you hold it for on the right side it just make a complete flip like this is a flip on the right side and if you do on the left side left. on the hair you will make i can explain that later but this is how it moves and this one on your left side that's for your right and left so it's just turning on your right and left side now you're going to use both these combinations on the action so on the fly you need to bring it back to the center point and you need to adjust the drone otherwise when you move to the right angle so you will it will just move all the way to the right it's keep on moving to the right you need to bring it back to the center so let's see so now while you're flying so you can see i'm moving to the right and then i need to adjust it back and when you're moving towards the right you need to use your roll so when you do the roll you need to use your yaw along with that to adjust it to bring it back to the center so example like i move here i'm just making a short turn here and then use your yaw to adjust it back otherwise your drone may flip and it may just go it will fall down so when you just go and making a sharp left hand you need to adjust with your yaw otherwise it may fall down so now i'm just making a left hand my throttle is full now and i'm just using just the up and pitch just using the pitch and So now, I'm just using the throttle and pitch to go down. And once I'm coming very close to the thing, I just pitch up. Now pitch down and when I come closer to the, I just pitch up. When I come closer to the land, just pitch up. The so throttle. Turn to the right with the roll and yaw and pitch down to come down and then make it turn. You can see I'm using both roll and yaw to adjust to make it center and then when I roll now it's angle based and then when I use this one the yaw it will adjust the position of it. So I'm just making a turn here and then yaw 
go to adjust and then just go now again turn yeah and I just go go for it just make it turn here and just go make it turn I'm just full throttling I'm just pitching up oops so just give a throttle full and go down if you want Throttle, roll, and yaw, and again, go forward. So this is pretty much how you will uh, get connected with your virtual app, and you can start your training freely. So you can use this app on the under the Steam, and you can start playing by yourself, and you can familiarize all the actions and uh, movements with it. So once you play for uh like three to five hours overall like or i would say like within one or two weeks you will you will be more familiarized on all these moves and then later point you can also work on making so many actions there and then in two or three weeks you can just go for uh, a real world experience so that is pretty much have fun